When I was here 25 years ago, this big house was just posts and beams and no siding. And it looked like it would take a miracle to finish it. And that miracle would happen. <laughs> it did. And here we are today, celebrating family. There's no greater blessing than children and grandchildren. And no greater privilege than passing on song and memories and our names. And this poem is for you and it's called Deserving the Name. Who gave the first name? Was it Seagull or Thunderbird? Some believe it was Grizzly Bear, others say Sun. They say Halibut had courage because he rolled over and looked at the sun. Who else would do that and risk blindness? Every child who hears the story and eats from the feast bowl asks, what did Halibut see? That question is as hard to answer as the one about the beginning and end of the world. Where do we come from and where are we going? One thing is certain, Halibut saw a man fall out of the sky and someone saw Thunderbird throw off his mask. The story repeats wherever humans try to fly or jump into the ocean and go with the sea people. In every part of the world that person has a different name. It might be Icarus, whose wings melted when he went too close to the sun. It might be the aviator, Amelia Earhart, who went looking for the sky mansion her ancestors came from and drove her airplane into the sea. It could be an early astronaut. The Samana say it was Salutza, the man who, like Abraham in the Bible, offered his child to the Great Spirit and sent her to live under the sea with the Salmon people, all our relations. When Halibut took off his skin and gills and offered them to his sky brother, he also gave him permission to use his song and his name. So long as the names pass from grandparent to child, and every child deserves the name it is given, there will be eternal life. Love you and thank you for sharing this day with us.